guys welcome back to my channel my name is Appa in case you guys are new here and today I'm trying out another different view in my room I don't know if this will be good or not but we're just gonna go with it today and today I have another shop my stash video for you you might hear something in the background I don't really know what's going on in the neighborhood that I live in but it almost sounds like really loud parade type of music or like band music it almost seems like there's a wedding Indian wedding going on or something and you know there's a Bharat or something but I don't know I don't know what's going on so you might hear that in the background but I'm gonna try my best to like minimize it with um, you know background music so let's just go ahead and get started this is something I actually didn't include in the thumbnail but I am gonna include it in this week's shop my stash and this is a body spray by Bath and Body Works and it is the Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. I absolutely love the scent you guys. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. Um, not just for the summertime, like I use this all year round really. So I'm really excited to, you know, use this one a little bit more this week. And then I kind of decided to focus on a bunch of Makeup Revolution products that I own. So the first product that I have here is this Vivid Shimmer Brick Bronze Kiss. And it's actually a bronzer, but for my skin tone, I will be using this as a highlight. Today, I am wearing a lot of Makeup Revolution makeup products, but I'm actually not wearing this highlight. I have another one that I want to talk about here in a little bit. But the you know bronzer looks like and basically you can use this like it comes in different stripes so you can use it single but I like to just go around and use it as a whole so that's what I will be doing with this one it is a dupe for position formulas I forgot what it's called I think it's a highlighter or a bronzer or something so that is what it is duping Another product from Makeup Revolution that I have is this eyeshadow palette. It is from the Jewel Collection. I'm trying not to blind you guys. And it is the opulent one and has the silver packaging on the outside. And this is what the inside of it looks like. I really like that Makeup Revolution started putting the names actually on the palette so if i'm doing like a get ready with me or something i will just you know refer to it so that it's easy easier for you guys to know like what shade i'm actually using instead of like individually showing you what shade i'm using you know the next product is not from makeup revolution but it is from wet and wild and it is their three-in-one primer water in cucumber that's almost like blinding but that's what that looks like and I really like this product you guys I think this is like a summer appropriate light based product which I really really enjoy because during the summertime I just don't want like overly cakey makeup and I feel like that's like a good product for you know lighter makeup during the summertime so I will be utilizing that Another Makeup Revolution product that I have is this Vivid Bake Bronzer. Again, I use these bronzers as highlighters. I do have this highlighter or bronzer on today and I really, really do enjoy it and will continue to you know, keep using it this week. So one thing which I do want to put in the disclaimer, my nails are kind of awful. So yeah, I just took off my nail polish because I had been doing dishes. The nail paint just kept chipping. So yeah, excuse my nails. Yeah, we're just going to excuse the nails, okay? Okay, so the next product that I have here is by Black Radiance. This is something I purchased on Clarence and it's just like this matte bronzer, I guess you could say. And I found it in the shade 8614 Cafe. I did drop this one, but I'm going to be using this as a contour, even though it's a matte finish bronzer. So I will be using this Cafe from Black Radiance. And I'm sorry that I, you know, broke it, but it is what it is. Things happen. I also have another Black Radiance product. This is Artisan Color Baked Blush. I love their baked blushes. And this is in the shade Warm Berry uh, Petitus Fruits Cods. 
I feel like that's a translation of the shade warm berry in another language I don't know what language that is but that's what the outside looks like really pretty pink color especially if you're like deeper skin tone I feel like this would be a really good blush for you but this is the blush that I'm wearing today as well another product from black radiance a lot of black radiance and makeup revolution products this week is this uh, dewy setting spray luminous and set that's what that looks like and so far i'm enjoying these products from black radiance maybe in the future i will be using more black radiance products hopefully <laughs> the next uh, foundation that i have here and this is actually the foundation that i'm wearing today i'm taking a break from my maybelline's um dream baby cream just because it hasn't really been super duper humid here in ohio so so it is okay for me to still wear a foundation so this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir and that's what that looks like it is a little bit darker and i did purchase another product to help me adjust my foundation and it is from the body shop and it's their lightning shade adjusting drops and that's what that looks like i have these two on today um so far it looks pretty good you guys so i want to keep using it um just so i can like do a review on it maybe we can do like a test or something let me know down in the comments below if you want to see you know a review on this product because so far i'm enjoying it hopefully by the end of the day also the color stays the same okay another makeup revolution product is this Ovation Velvet Lacquer in the shade Rebel. The lipstick that I have on today is by the Wet n Wild and it's their Mega Last Liquid Katsu Lipsticks in the shade of Behind the Bleachers. Absolutely love this red color. It's not super duper bam red, but it's like a really nice medium terracotta type of red, you know what I mean? So really like that the mascara and the primer that I will be using this week so the eye I should um, not eyeshadow but eyelash primer that I will be using this week is from essence I have talked about this previously and it's their volume booster lash primer so that's what I will be using along with the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber Lashes, not a surprise, and my Jordana's Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara, and that's what that looks like. So excited to use those. Moving on to some more eye products, I will be using the Essences I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. Have talked about it several times. I'm just kind of wanting to finish this eyeshadow primer, you guys, just because it's I've had it for a while and it's just yeah it's almost done so I feel like I just want to finish it up and then I also be will be using this Nyx's wonder pencil same thing as last time then my eyeliner for the week would be the Rimmel soft coal kajal eyeliner pencil and I have two lip liners actually i don't know if i talked about the elf one i don't think i did but i actually have this elf line and blend eyeliner or it's not eyeliner but um lip liner so it comes with like a brush on the side as well which you can use for blending and this is in the shade wine and that will go with the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick that I just showed you. And then I also have this Jordana's lip liner in Hot Fuchsia, which will go with the Makeup Revolution liquid lipstick that I have. I also have Rimmel London's eyebrow pencil in the shade Black Brown. I really do like this product, so I will continue to keep using it. The eyeliner that I will be using this week, liquid eyeliner, is by Essence, it's their super precise eyeliner and it is a waterproof formula. I do have this eyeliner on today. Another brow product that I will be using is this one from Five Below. I've been using it for a long time. It comes with a lot of product. I mean, you can see I have used up 
quite a lot and I will continue to keep using it. My brow gel for this week would be again from Essence and that's just their lash and brow. I just use it for my brows, but that's that. And then I have another e.l.f. product and this is their lip scrub. I do use this every single day, you guys. So that's again, not a new thing. And then lastly, I have this nude lipstick. I don't know where my lip liner, which goes with this, uh, not liquid lipstick, but lipstick is. It's somewhere here, I don't really know where it is, but I will be using that as well. And that's Jordana's lip liner in Baby Berry or Berry something. I, I don't remember the name, but I will be using that. And the lipstick is from Milani. I love their matte lipsticks and I absolutely love this packaging. And this is in the shade matte dreamy and as you can see i've used it quite a lot absolutely love this lipstick and i'm excited to keep using it this week so i hope you guys like this video honestly this is one of my favorite videos to film i feel like it just keeps me in check uh, with my makeup collection and just like not going overboard in the beauty community in general like we have this like bye 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 and i really just am trying to avoid that and my mom is texting but we're gonna keep going i just you know like i want to use up my products i paid my money to buy these products and i want that my money's worth although these are more on the affordable side more affordable makeup because i don't really have like high-end makeup i still just want to you know stick to what i have just use it up do more empties videos i should have palettes it's a whole different story like I should have palettes I kind of let myself lose in that department but when it comes to you know other makeup products like these itty bitty products I'm still a little bit more cautious mm -hmm. so thank you so much for watching you guys and hope to see you next week bye